Hi, I'm Aaron, aka Vision Aaron, and welcome to Paris. Bienvenue à Bienvenue à Paris! Welcome to Paris, everybody. I am here for work, but I'm going to share a little bit when I get a chance of some of my adventures, my outfits, and one of my favorite activities to do whenever I'm here, which is to go thrift shopping in the Marais. So come join me, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and I'll show you the things that I like to do. On y va? Let's go! Hey, let's go find a crepe place in the Marais. I just love seeing even the original beans with all the different little holes and imperfections and the irregular cuts because they weren't cut like wood mill or something like that. So you get all these like kind of imperfections that make it look beautiful and historic. So embrace those imperfections. Thrift shopping after lunch. Close the sound back. I'm going to go through and see if I find any oversized like sweatshirts that I can cut up or do something interesting. Yes. <laughs> Full 80s leather fantasy. But for 169. No, thank you. No mercy. I usually get them when I'm in Japan and um, here they're probably... I want to see what the prices are like here just to see. Oh, 49, that's not bad. In Portugal they usually are about 60 to 80. So that's actually not a bad price for uh, Nice tuxedo jackets, but I have a lot of tuxedo jackets, so... That's the problem is if you like something, you often just keep buying them and you're like, do I really need five of the same thing? I have some leather pants, yeah. but leather pants don't uh, have as much give to them, so they're good against the wind chill factor in Paris. Ooh, but I like that 80s version a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this for five euros at a thrift shop like 10 years ago. Now it's 230 for this style, like big kind of boxy oversized 90s leather jacket. So it's just interesting to see what comes and goes uh, style wise. Also the prices, vintage is, vintage is a lot more expensive nowadays. It's basically um, due to increased demand from lots of people being into vintage, which is a good thing, I guess. within the Marais and it's a place that everybody goes to to get falafel and good food so I'm gonna have to come back for the food but I'm gonna show it to you so you know where to get it when you want. Josier is really beautiful and it's known as the Jewish ghetto here in the um, Marais in Paris and it's full of beautiful buildings and wonderful falafel shops so let's go check them out. In the springtime when the vines are more green and lush but still cute in the winter time. I'm just gaining weight just looking at it. I bought so many things from here over the decades. It's crazy. It's kind of still the same, but always different stuff. And this is a little area with a little loft area above here that's kind of cool and super small. Um, oh, it's closed off now. Oh, they just use it for storage. But it used to be like you would go up the stairs and it's really steep. And uh, there was like big
bins of things that were one euro and stuff up there, but now I guess it must be storage stuff. So let's see if we can find any cool belts. crop it here to make it just be an oversized crop top. Nice. Back to shopping. This is just buying uh, from the normal store, it's Freep or Freep Star here. There's three of them on the street. Uh, we're going to go to the Kilo shops, which there are two of on the street. And the uh, difference is, is that you're, the price is based on the kilo and the color of the tag. So there's basically a calculation. You have to put it in a little thing to weigh it and then you'll find out the price. Let's go and see what they have. Some beautiful sights. I like this, but I think it's going to be really expensive because it's heavy. I'm going to test it out to see how much it costs. With the blue tag, 40 But I like it because it reads as a little bit masculine, even though it's obviously a women's skirt. But it doesn't, it doesn't have any pockets either, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. But it's good for winter time and it's good to wear with like those boots. I look like I'm a German yodeler, like yodeling, oh, or Swiss. I'd be more Swiss. I love vintage sunglasses glasses in general. It's just I can't find the shapes that I really like the most for my face. They're really hard to find so I might have to make them myself. Watch out for it. I might actually do that. of sugar in your pocket so you can just keep on going for longer. That's my secret. Draggy boost? Mm -hmm. What do you think?
so much beauty everywhere you look. More thrift shopping after sunset. I recognize him because um, basically I used to shop with him all the time when I would come here to Paris and he's in this space now but he used to be over on the other the other street and I used to buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> They have new stuff coming every day and they always have good prices here compared to some of the other free stores. They always keep like good prices. People like him have been here for decades and I used to come like every year, maybe four times a year. It's just fun to think that like we know each other. Okay, merci monsieur. Au revoir. Now we're going into Lucky Records, which is a famous record store here in Paris, in the Marais kind of area, of course. And it's um, famous also because they're huge Madonna supporters. So I want to go in and see if we can support them. Like basically, they have like all sorts of Madonna things from different eras, different countries, like Madonna bedtime stories from Brazil. They have. Uh, Finally, enough love. Nice, I recognize that photo. Madam X Live, I recognize that photo. Do you recognize the makeup? In Portugal with Martin Marcus and him. Nice to meet you. Now I have to get ready for a fashion event. So this is my look for another event. You want to see what's inside Schiaparelli Haute Couture? Well, a lot of stuff. Come and join me. Everything made out of upcycled parts and outdated technology. The famous little baby. I mean, they say newborns are digital now, like digital natives now. Love the also the details of the architecture. We're surrounded by haute couture, but also by haute architecture. I love to see the different interpretations that they do from the original kind of skeleton dress from it. This is Caparelli, and this is made all out of kind of fringe, super long fringe. Back on the streets and back to the hotel. Just the, the kind of secondary room in the suite has these gold details on the ceiling. It's really beautiful.
that's the Grand Palais, the big palace. The big palace, the Grand Palais, is where we always have Chanel shows that we had to be at at 5.30 in the morning. Like, in months like this, like January, like freezing cold. I really appreciate it. I need this help. I'm just starting out and if you find me interesting or at least awkward to stare at the freak, then click like and subscribe. I want to share some of my creativity and adventures with you.